Freebird Games presents a game that I've been interested in playing for quite some time. It was awarded Best Indie RPG of 2011. It's to the moon. Hello everyone, my name is Stephen George and I play video games. Today, I'm bringing Mao along for a journey into to the moon. Now before we jump in, I want to say a quick thank you to our Patreon producers. These are the people that support us over on Patreon at the producer level. Their names are scrolling up on the screen now. If you're interested in uh, helping to support us, there's information on screen and in the description now. We really do sincerely appreciate it. Now, this is a game that has an interesting history. It's, it's drawn me in for a few reasons. For one, Best Indie RPG of 2011. That's an award. In 2011, GameSpot gave it the Best Story Award for any game. Do you know what other games came out in 2011? Catherine. Portal 2, Xenoblade Chronicles, To the Moon, beat them in story. Is that impressive, Mal? I'm really excited for this. That's impressive. Apparently, this is a bit of a tearjerker, but it's a game that I've been interested in playing for quite some time, and I'm really, really excited that I finally get to experience that today with you guys, and of course, with Mal as well. The other cool thing, this game was made in RPG Maker XP. So don't you ever let anyone tell you that you cannot make a, a fine commercial product with RPG Maker. They are fantastic tools, a really great way to learn programming, but also to create a full-fledged game. Are you ready to jump in, Mal? Yes. Let's get started. I really have no idea what to expect, but I am very, very excited. Now, this is a single-player game, so I'm going to be playing through the entire thing, but Mao is, of course, uh, with me uh, for helping me solve anything that needs to be solved. <laughs> She's the expert puzzle solver. My specialty. But also just to to take in the game. And this uh, this is a game by, I believe his name is um, uh, Khan Gao. This is his fourth video game, but uh, his first commercial work. Also, I believe that the soundtrack has won several awards as well. That didn't sound good. Hmm. Dr. Rosaline. What were you looking, or where were you looking, Neil? Dr. Watts. Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Hmm. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was, uh, saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left-click an object to interact with it. Okay, so I can... actually... click on stuff. Received equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Right-click to toggle menu or cancel. Patient offline. Characters. Dr. Neil Watts, Technician Specialist, Sigmund Corps. And Dr. Eva Rosaline, Senior Memory Traversal Agent, Sigmund Corps. We don't have any notes. We have, uh, equipment. Uh, description. With a box this heavy, what's inside has got to be important. Okay. Can I tell you my history with this game? Your history? I started playing this game one day, I was bored, I downloaded it off Steam, and you caught me playing it. And then you were like, you can't play that, we're gonna LP it one day. It's true, and this was a while ago. Mm -hmm. I've, I'd actually forgotten about that. Okay. Tisk tisk. Oh, come on, I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? <sighs> That's asking too much. So, we're on this road. Also, I'm I'm Im I'm immediately like taken back to my RPG Maker days, <laughs> and I I miss it so much. You have two arrows. Let's, let's see. Hold on. What does this say? 
Wiles Household Ahead. Putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. There's two ways we can go. Should we go left or right? Um, left. The road less traveled. The sign to the house points the other way. Oh, how kind of it to exist. <laughs> Oops. And then the arrow is gone. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. <laughs> how thoughtful of you. All right, so there's a bird. Just seeing if I can click on stuff. It's interesting that you can use the mouse. Um, RPG Maker stuff has come a long way. Whenever I was using it, I don't think the mouse was a possibility. Alright, so let's... Looks like there's... Something here. Some nice scenery. A broken branch or something. Hi, birdies. Hmm. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Uh, <laughs> push it by hand, find a branch, abort mission, and go home. Uh, let's see if we can find a branch. A branch will do. So maybe you like this. You did find a branch, so. Receive tree branch. Okay. All right, this better work. Uh, Did it deflate? It looks like it deflated. What was that? I... I don't even... It's some kind of an air ball. Uh, right. Uh, we need to get going for now. Right. Something we know I can control with this. Oh, I can actually just use the mouse. Although it's a little... it's a little weird. For even me. I think I'll stick with... You can't use WASP, though. You have to use the arrow keys, which is a little... Confusing. Okay, so let's wander around here. I don't see anything worth checking out. Very pretty, though. Want to take a sit? <laughs> frolic in those flowers. I'm I'm pretty much frolicking as it is. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of frolicking going on. Can I go this way? There's a front door. Maybe I should check out the front door. That would make sense. It would. I knocked. Ma, they're here! I guess we were supposed to be going this way? Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. <laughs> and the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... Don't forget the equipment, moron. I'm not a moron. I don't get paid enough for this. So we're taking the stuff inside. We're not supposed to be here, right? We crashed the car. I don't know. That's what I was assuming. Act one, I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Are we in? This is Lily. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume? Thanks for coming on such short notice. Okay, so we are supposed to so be- So it's not random happenstance. No. See, I thought we wrecked the car, and we were- Wandering up to someone's house? Yeah, but in fact, this is apparently where we were supposed to be. It just so happens that when we wrecked the car, or when, when we went to park, we hit a squirrel. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I am just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9-to-5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. 
Come with me. Hmm. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Receive the equipment. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. So she, uh, I'm still controlling her. For River. What kind of a song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. Interesting. See if there's any other things. I know we're supposed to go upstairs, but it's a friggin' RPG. Like, you gotta interact with stuff. What? Is that like some sort of gopher? <laughs> like kind Looks of like, like a, someone's portrait. The patient is waiting upstairs. Better not waste time. Yeah, but... <laughs> you know. You know how things are. No. People don't understand, man. This is a game. I want to click stuff. Oh, hey. Whatever time that is. 10... 50-ish. Okay. Um... Upstairs? Go upstairs? Yeah. No. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. Interesting. I've liked the music so far. I have two. And it's also very fitting. Still don't really know what's going on, though. Other than the fact someone died and we're not a good driver. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who was carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, things got quiet. I think I have to be in front of things to check them. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal of some sort. A casual painting of three people. What does it mean? In due time, my dear Watson, in due time. Talk to you. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Ready to set up? Uh, I'll keep looking around. Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. Question. Yeah. You see the books on the bookshelf? Yeah. Those look clickable. Yes, they do. A selection of readings from medical journals. There's one up here. Oh. But I guess it's not anything I can particularly interact with. Can we leave the room? Yes, actually. Something shiny. Ah, it allows me to turn the lights on and off. Man, that's cool. That's friggin' cool. Especially because I have a, a, a vague idea of how all of this stuff, like, works. Mm-hmm. Because I've used RPG Maker. In high school, I, I love the thing. Some of the stuff's really impressive. Alright, we should probably get started. Yes. It'll just be a moment. So we're gonna put this machine down and then figure out what exactly this machine is and who we are, because I don't even know who we are. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. Just us two. Oh, crap. <laughs> Standard uh, procedures, just uh, keeping you on your toes. Whoa. Some futuristic stuff. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's just got a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. <laughs> so, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? 
The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That... I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. All right, which one of us plays detective? Who gets to search the house? Whatever. Should we have Dr. Watts do it, since he's been ha hauling the luggage the entire time? I don't know. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in High School Musical. I remember you playing Watson. Eh, same thing. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Okay, um... I figured it was good to let him... ...move around, because he hasn't been. Tommy and Sarah can take you around the house if you need any assistance. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Any other crap? I already checked in on a lot of this stuff. Wait, come back here for a moment. <laughs> I have something for you. <laughs> it's a trinket! Not a trinket. Might be a trinket. Here, take this. A trinket. Received a remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Okay, so now if we open up our menu, we actually have our patient online. And that's how Johnny's doing. We only have Dr. Neo available to us right now. No notes. And this, which connects wirelessly to the patient's local monitor for live supervision. Cool. So let's go downstairs and see if we can find those kids. We have a clock. Now we can hear the kids playing again. Hey, kids. What you want? Uh, show around the house. Hey, uh, your ma told you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. <laughs> maybe? Nah, I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Uh, alright, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars! Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that! Uh, what? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mop put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Uh... <laughs> sure, I'll go get it for you. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again, or I'd just tell your mother. The kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go! It's almost like some kind of a terrible quest to get my night started. Alright, so down we go. This isn't the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> Go inside anyway? Yeah! Exploration. But they're gonna give you a tour. Eh. Maybe there's something they won't show me. Ack! Almost stepped on the paint. There's some- there's some stuff over here. Dusk light. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Read passage. Uh, maybe next time. Any other thing we can check? Doesn't look like it. Oh, uh, wait. Go back over by the plant. What? There was... Yeah. The Emperor's new clothes. Read passage. And the colors! The colors of that beautiful fabric! I've never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the clothes. A child, however, who had no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed them to him, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy's remark which has been heard by the bystanders, was repeated over and over. A classic. It is a classic. I'm stuck on this armchair. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the kitchen to get these 
kids some candy cane. That's not the kitchen either. Oh. I'm gonna wash my hands. Maybe. Turn on and store tap water? Yeah. You never know when you're gonna need some tap water. <laughs> I'm glad I'm storing some tap water. See, when they said stairs, I thought they meant these stairs. Maybe they mean those stairs. Nah, that's... Nah, okay. They must mean that. There's that candy cane. Oh, God. You turn on the light. I don't think I can get it. You could take a chair. Can I? Jump, 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 jump. Okay, there's this thing. That was convenient. Is it on ice skates? Yeah, I know. Received candy cane. Bada bing, bada boom. Booyah! It's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. A <laughs> yes. cabinet? The cabinet babies are the, cabinet baby. the best babies. Alright, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there, but I did get the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. They were offended and immediately killed Dr. Watts. Alright, where do we start? I know! There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Uh, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's covered in clowns. <laughs> it's covered in blood. What is the funny room? You're going to have to wait until next episode to find out. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of the first episode of To the Moon. It's a very intriguing title. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't really gotten started yet. But I hope that you guys will come back for next episode and give it another shot. Apparently, I mean, once again, this one best story of 2011. So there's some sort of gem in here. And I'm really excited to see it come out. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for another exciting episode of To the Moon.